For the first time in nearly three years, isolation pilot plant near Carlsbad is back up and running. Taking in nuclear waste again, the plant closed down in 2014 after a radiation leak caused a big scare for miles. News 13's Cheyenne Cope has the story from Carlsbad. It's been a long time coming. So it's a very, very important project and everybody in the waste complex or in the defense complex is very excited about it getting open again. The waste isolation pilot plant outside of Carlsbad is placing nuclear waste underground for the first time since it was shut down in February of 2014 after a drum exploded causing a radiation release. Shipments of waste have been piling up at national laboratories and other defense sites around the country since the shutdown. Uh, yesterday, uh, some 28 drums were put down in the facility, and I'm assuming that that's going on today as well. The Department of Energy gave WIP the green light to reopen last month. John Heaton, chairman of the Carlsbad Mayor's Nuclear Task Force, says everything is looking good. Well, it's off to a, a very good start. I've, I've been through operational readiness reviews. Uh, three of those and uh, they've completed all their pre-start uh, concerns and so here we are. He says staff has been working for almost three years to make sure the plant is as safe as possible. It's a much more intense process and all the safety provisions are extremely more intense. People in the Carlsbad area are excited WIP is back open. Um, I think it's a good thing that they have uh, it there and uh, it provides a lot of jobs for our area and uh, hopefully it will continue to do so. I think it's great they got it back open again. Cheyenne Cope, KRQE News 13. U.S. Energy Secretary Ernest Moniste and other officials are scheduled to celebrate the reopening with a ribbon cutting on Monday.